Welcome everyone. Today we are going to be talking about Ying on the support guide series. If you're enjoying the content, make sure to hit the sub and the like button. And if you're not, drop a dislike and let's go ahead and get in straight into the video. So these are Ying's three talents. She has focusing lens, which is just going to give you a bit of extra damage if you land all five shots on somebody. Life exchange, this is going to be her best healing talent. Uh, this is going to make your shatter do 800 healing instead of shattering your illusions it does have one second increased cooldown but you do have a card to reduce that by two and a half seconds and then if you miss it it's reduced by two seconds so you can basically instantly cast it again and resonance is another one of those damage talents but a lot of people do use it for um healing too uh here is the card build if you want to pause and go ahead and look over this it's just going to reduce that cooldown on your um shatter and allow for your illusions to get a bit more time up, increase your health a bit, reduce the cooldowns of illusions as soon as they die, and then increase or reduce the cooldown of your a uh, little bit of a dash here. And let's go ahead and talk about her abilities. One, she has illusions, which are going to be these things. These are going to provide 400, I think, healing, 450 healing over 1.6 seconds. Uh, whenever they are casting this is going to happen every couple of seconds so they do do quite a bit of healing and then you have her dimensional link this is going to be her main form of uh sustainability to survive what this is going to do is going to teleport you to the farthest illusion that you placed or if you have no illusions alive it'll cast you to the farthest uh last living illusion so as soon as that one will die uh, you can go ahead and cast this and it'll teleport you instantly over here since it was the farthest living illusion before it died and so that's dimensional link just your safety ability and then you have shatter now without life exchange it'll shatter your illusions and they'll go off and do damage they'll chase down enemies and they'll go ahead and do damage after two seconds uh but with life exchange it's going to uh heal for 800 and so it's just going to be your faint main form of ability and really turn uh king into a very high healing champion so yeah those are her uh abilities and then her ultimate is going to heal people for 4800 over eight seconds and also make them immune to crowd control for one second and remove all debuffs on cast uh, so it's very good to counter very high amounts of cc's and our or is unfortunately dead i could not see her so yeah, and it is affected by Cauterize. Now, it used to not be affected by Cauterize, but in the Season 7 patch, they did change that to be affected by Cauterize. Uh, so it is going to have uh, a bit of downside. I'm just going to try and get it back over here to heal him and then help him out by doing a bit of damage and get that healing off. On top of all that, with the ultimate, you're also going to be able to teleport to all allies, if you would like. So if I cast this ultimate, I'm going to be able to teleport to Vora or Janus or Strix or Ruckus, anybody of my liking. So yeah, it gives you that bit of extra survivability. If you're ever in danger, you can pop the ultimate and go ahead and get out pretty much for free. So that is the breakdown of Ying's abilities and talents. She's really good with just about any comp right now. We're actually going to save our ult for raw molt, because if uh, they get stunned, I want to go ahead and uh, get that stun off of them. We can also use it for atlas ult, but I don't think it is that necessary, since it's not really doing any damage. We're just going to actually TP over here. Um, another thing with Dimensional Link is it'll stay open for quite a while. Uh, I think it stays open for four seconds and during that time you can swap to any of your illusions not allies though But just any of your illusions So it gives you that even more extra survivability if you place this uh, illusion You can TP to it and then TP back to where you were and then just shoot people out like that And yeah, that's seeing what she's good with she's good with just about any uh, any comp She works with just about all of them. She is pretty uh, pretty strong. I would say very contested High amounts of healing can do some damage. We're actually going to ult here just because we do say Tiberius ult. And I want to make sure he can't do anything with it. We're just going to go ahead and try and kill this Rom here. Um, a very small macro play you can do is in between uh, every single shot or every single shatter you do. You can fire two rounds of ammo and then you will have your shatter right back up. And so it's a little bit 
of a way to do some damage on top of being able to micro your shatter. So yeah, you can always do that to up your hand or your healing and damage output. Because uh, instead of just waiting that whole time, you can also just throw out some uh, throw out some damage. If you have an illusion up, you can throw down your illusion, and then you can go back to doing another shatter. Your illusions also heal yourself, so there is that too. A lot of healing, a lot of survivability, and can sometimes do a decent bit of damage, uh, depending how comfortable you are on being able to cycle. And as you're seeing, I am buying Kronos. The reason I'm buying Kronos is because it's very similar to um, Ceres. In the way that if you buy it, it's going to be on around a one second cooldown of shatter, which is just enough time again to throw out two, uh, two basic attacks and then shatter or an illusion or whatever you need to do. But yeah, it's going to decrease it to around one second. I think it's actually 1.1 seconds, but it is extremely quick. Shaking off, shaving off that 0.4 seconds is really good. Uh, so yeah. So that is Ying, what she's good with, what her abilities do, all her talent. Uh, focusing lens can be good if you're playing damage and they have a lot of shields just to help with that uh, extra damage and then resonance can be good if you can learn how to play it uh, you definitely can build a lot of ball charge with it but for the most part you want to be giving life exchange if you're running her in off support or with double healer comp then you're going to want to usually run uh that resonance just to get that bit of extra damage okay we'll have this uh tiberius will try and dish out some damage yeah that is ying let's go ahead and continue with the match doing more of a walk through me playing here it's gonna look be looking for damage when we can and healing when we can trying to cycle those uh abilities in between basics watch out for the atlas just gonna try and keep ourselves alive here trying to find a spot where i can heal them too and look at ruckus unfortunately couldn't save him just gonna try and back her out around here and then go back over here oh let me got that kill try and heal uh aura here while doing a bit of damage fortunately our strix did die and we're actually gonna ult here so we don't lose and there we go we're just gonna play up here with them, make sure they can't uh, get back to the point. We do hear them coming in though. We're gonna demount her and then just try and mirror her pathing. We're actually gonna try to get back over to Ruckus, which he does seem to live that. And I just help out with that bit of damage. And again, just cycling that when we can. We hear Tiberius actually ulting and GG's. I actually did forget to <laughs> grab the stats after the game, but we were 3 4 25 with 37k damage and 82k healing. Obviously, the other team didn't have a healer, but those are the stats. But you do do a quite a bit of healing, and if you're cycling your basic attacks in between every single life exchange, um, then you can do a, a decent damage output too. But that's the video, and I really hope you guys enjoyed. Let me know if it helped you out in the comments below. Let me know your thoughts on Yang. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.